Hello, my name is Gaurav and uh, I've been teaching Azure DevOps in a series and today I'll be covering a topic, your first Selenium program. So I have seen people struggling with the first program. So I thought of uh, creating this because there are tutorials which are old, right? And people follow them, though all of them, all of the things are right in them, but some of the things are not updated. So they struggle. I don't want that people should struggle with their first program and also this can act as a uh, one of in my the azure devops series uh, so let's try to remove those hurdles though it's very basic and many people would be aware about it but it would be very useful for beginners and those who are following my series let's begin so i'll share some of the things they are basic, but those who are experts, they're already aware about it. But if you're starting new, this will really help you. Like uh, you use Chrome driver and you get errors like this, like and even people use public static void main. So these things are uh, sometimes will be a problem. And if they, sometimes there are people to help you, but sometimes there is nobody and you get struggled and you leave that learning automation part that it's hard and you get stuck and people are not there to help you, right? So to avoid these problems, I'll just sh share only the first program and rest you can still follow the uh, same tutorial. So I can share the link where you can follow. There are many good channels which, which are already explaining all of these stuffs, right? And this video is helpful even in my uh, the Azure DevOps repo, which I am creating. Right. So first thing is my favorite ID is IntelliJ, right? I would recommend you to use IntelliJ instead of Eclipse because I have seen that it crashes a lot, but IntelliJ has proved to be very useful till now, right? So you can click on this new project and then let me tell that first Selenium program, right? You can select some directory or folder, say automation or something in your system, right? And there search for quick start, right? Maven quick start, click on this and then click on create. This will load the project for you, right? It will make things simpler for you. You will not get those Chrome driver errors and uh, better avoid using public static void main, right? And the, some other errors also you can avoid with. So what is Maven? Oh, so as soon as this Maven basic file will load, you will see that there is a pom.xml this file is, I'll explain it very high, high level that it takes care of dependencies. If you give your program to someone else, they might not need to download anything. Seeing this file, the system will automatically download it from Maven, right? With the help of Maven. Yeah, you will have to install Maven as uh, before this, right? Download Maven and uh, it's just a, uh, what do you call it? It's just a zip file, right? You can download that. So download Maven, download IntelliJ, and then you will be at this, right? And the structure, you will get it already. They have already a uh, test over there, right? Let me add few files for now, right? So first dependency is the web driver. So search for web driver manager Maven, right? The first link, you will get it from here. Take the latest version copy this and come back to your Maven file, you will find a dependency tags after properties, right? And here you can add it a dependency, right? It will get downloaded. Apart from that, from the same place, we will download Selenium as well, right? Let's use this Selenium Java, considering you are using Java language, right? Copy this as well and we'll paste it here. Right, and in my system, they are present in local. That's why you see that uh, it's all well, but it might appear in red color for you. It will take some time to load, then it will, it will become a black color. Otherwise, you can click on this right side Maven and click here. So it will uh, download the dependencies and you will see it here that whatever uh, dependencies I'm downloading, it will come here or even you can see here, so if you see WebDriver and Selenium Java, both of them have been imported and JUnit was already there. And the last one I will do is TestNG, right? You can just click on TestNG. This will help you to write multiple programs, multiple tests in a single 
java file right otherwise you will just write public static void main and you will keep on uh, adding new functions and call that from main right it will not appear as different test and you will face so many problems so right here i can create uh, another org dot something based on my but i'll just take the basic one here right let me add a test selenium first right now i can what you have to write is write your open google right in chrome so this is my test that i want to do right and since it's a test you can mention at the rate test annotation uh, so you see my test ng is not downloaded yet so i can click here so it's reading pom.xml and it will try to download the dependencies which are missing so now you see test ng has come over here so and i can write here at the rate test and bring it from test ng right and like so now we have the dependencies that we want test ng selenium web driver manager so i'll write my first test so let me bring the test from the test ng and write my first test public void open google in chrome right so so generally how uh, we write it right instead of that we'll use uh, we can use a driver instance web driver instance we'll use a web driver instance and use web driver manager which can take care of chrome driver dot so if you see if you see so many uh, other drivers are coming so we'll use chrome driver for now right drv dot get and i can type google dot com right and also important tip is do close it quit it otherwise it will take lot of space in your task manager you will see so many chrome drivers would be running right let me run this program it will not cause you those troubles of having a chrome driver dot txt and that gecko driver for firefox this library takes care of that in backend and if you see here it's coming like a proper test not like uh, if you write like public static void main you'll have to write it many times yeah a test was successful let me copy paste and i can create multiple test in this file and here i can write instead of chrome i can write firefox you should have all these browsers in your system installed right then only it can open right just i have to make this change here and if i want edge here i can write it edge right and make it edge so we'll use this same in the azure devops series that's going on because i'll cover azure repos in the next one so for that i need a repo so i'm just creating this repo let me try to run this test and see that uh, whether it's running or not whether i see that is, is it opening firefox or not right so the test is successful and you can see google.com got open and it got closed so important things that we learn is first thing we did is we inst we had to install uh, maven right and if it is installed rightly or not you have to run the command mvn right that you can check it out online that how to install maven but i would strongly recommend you to install maven first right and then install intellij and in intellij you can use the new project right and then select the quick start arc type for maven which will create a structure like this for you then we added these three dependencies test ng web driver manager and selenium java right and with this command it did the magic for us we did not have to worry about where is chrome driver and firefox driver all of that stuff right and their versioning and all so this will make it easy for you if you are a beginner right and if you you can share with anyone right uh, this so that who people who are struggling they can refer to this and start their journey of automation and we'll use this same repo in our azure devops series so hope this helped you or it will help someone right who are stuck with this so thank you for watching so you can subscribe to my channel or start learning this azure devops series or if any other recommendations you have please uh give those in comments